Hi kiddos, it's Riley here, and welcome back to another Adri video. Today is another story time for you, and today we'll be reading one of the adventures of Rainbow Fish. These were some of my favorite stories as a bio kid, and this is an actual copy of the book from my bio childhood, and I am very excited to share these stories with you. Rainbow Fish, Finders Keepers. Rainbow Fish was swimming through the coral reef. He was looking for colorful shells for his collection. What could that be, Rainbow Fish wondered. He swam down for a closer look. It's so bright and shiny. Sea glass, cried Rainbow Fish. It's so beautiful. Rainbow Fish loved the sea glass. He always carried it around. Pretty sea glass with a hole in it. One day after school, Rainbow Fish couldn't find his sea glass. Oh no, how could I have lost it, he cried. He searched every inch of the coral reef. He looked everywhere, but he couldn't find it. It wasn't at the sunken ship or swirling in the whirlpool. It wasn't along Mitz Kravitz's shortcut. Rainbow Fish was heartbroken. His beautiful sea glass was gone. A few days later, Little Blue jetted through the sunken ship. Check out my lucky charm, he boasted. Hey, that's my sea glass, cried Rainbow Fish. I've been looking all over for it. Where did you find it? It's not your sea glass, said Little Blue. Yes, it is. I found it and then I lost it, said Rainbow Fish. I've had this forever, said Little Blue. Oh, come on, Little Blue, said Rosie. I saw you pick that up at the oyster beds on the way to school. Oh, I must have dropped it at the oyster beds when I went looking for pearls with puffers, said Rainbow Fish. That doesn't prove anything. Just because you lost a piece of sea glass doesn't mean that this one is yours, cried Little Blue. Besides, said Little Blue, I've never seen you with a piece of sea glass. I have an idea, said Dinah as she took the piece of sea glass and hid it behind her. Describe the sea glass to me, said Dinah. Little Blue, you start. Little Blue hesitated. Well, it's um, orange, he said. You mean red, Rainbow Fish corrected. Right, that's what I meant, red, Little Blue said. And it's smooth and round, Little Blue added. You mean except for the hole, Rainbow Fish corrected. Of course, except for the hole, said Little Blue. I got mixed up when you interrupted me. That's not what it sounds like to me, said Dinah. Everyone agreed that the sea glass belonged to Rainbow Fish. I found it fair and square, shouted Little Blue. Finders keepers, losers weepers. But what if you lost something you really loved, asked Dinah. But it's not fair, cried Little Blue. Maybe Rainbow Fish could help you find another piece of sea glass, suggested Tug. We'll never find a piece of sea glass like this one, said Little Blue. We can find one that's just as pretty, said Rainbow Fish. You can hold this one while we look. Little Blue found a piece of sea glass. It was bright yellow and very pretty. Rainbow Fish had his own sea glass back and they were both very happy. What will Rainbow Fish and his friends explore next? The end. I really hope you kiddos enjoyed this story time and I will absolutely soon be reading the other three stories that are in this book. If you enjoyed this video or want to see more content all about age regression, you can subscribe to this channel because I try to post over here a couple of times a week. But if you'd also like to keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. If you want to spoil a baby and help support me and my content, I have a wish list, a Ko-Fi, and a link to my merch all down in the description. And those are all great ways to help me out alongside letting the ads play through on my videos. I love you guys so very much and I will see you soon. Goodbye.